he knew I was going to make a video. He's like, I'm ready, daddy. I'm ready. <clears throat> Let's talk about knowledge that so many of you guys have. I keep reading comments that I've read every book that Dr. Joe has ever thought about, let alone written. And I have been listening to Sadhguru and Dr. Wayne Dyer and everybody else and everybody else. And I've been listening and reading and all this. And yet, I don't meditate. I don't know any of the mystical experiences you're talking about. I don't create my own reality. I don't. None of that is happening for me. I can't keep a job. I just graduated from college and I can't find a job. And I'm fat and I can't get fit. And I have allergies and I can't eat certain things. And I have autoimmune diseases. And <sighs> knowledge is not power, people. Knowledge is just potential power. You cannot have the protein of an egg if you don't crack and break the egg. You can't just have eggs at home and somehow think that you're going to be healthy. You have to take the food out of the fridge and do stuff with it, play with it. Cook it. Put it in you. And then once you put it in you, it goes into the cells, right? It goes into the cells. It goes into your brain. Our brain is made of what? Cholesterol and fats. What are neurons made of? Cholesterols and fats. Have you guys heard of myelin sheets? So when the neurons become thick and they get solidified, the more you do certain things, driving, riding a bicycle, you know, other things, skills, any kind of skills. The more you do it, the thicker and the more solidified those neurons get. And one of the things that neurons do is they get wrapped around with fat, myelin sheets, these cholesterols and fats that you need for that. I've heard of so endless, okay, I'm talking to people from like 40 countries. I did not expect this channel to explode. <laughs> way faster than I can even handle. I don't even know how YouTubing works. And I love it because I'm in a flow. Am I overwhelmed? No. And the people I'm working with have this specific hunger, this specific mindset. Relax, buddy. Got easier. So they have this hunger. They have the knowledge. They're hearing me talk about putting that knowledge into experience and they're thinking, crap, I should have been doing that. Why am I just sucking information out of the book and still going to my miserable job, not going to gym, not eating well, not having the right relationship? I'm so desperate for my partner and my love that I'm going to go on Bumble and I'm going to go on all these other things and I'm going to go on all these dates and just settle for whatever comes my way. But I have this desire in my heart that I want this particular partner. But yet, I'm going to, oh, well, her body parts matches my body parts. And, uh, you know, I like the way she looks at me. I like the way she smiles. So she's going to she's gonna do. I'm going to take her home. No. <sighs> Fix yourself first. Do you see anyone sitting next to me? Besides the love of my life over here, besides the love of my life over here, the second love of my life right here, <laughs> I'm not looking for her because because the future of me already has her. I know a lot about her. And uh, I just know. I'm very good at attracting things myself. 
My life is effortless. Effortless. I do a lot of things that people will you would have to fail and try and do, and, and it just happens. I get a phone call, I get a doorbell, and it shows up. I want you guys to feel that. I want you guys to feel that. I want you guys to wake up. This is a game. We're in a simulation. We're in this video game that we picked, the characters that we picked. You know? Too many of you guys are learning too many things. When I talk to you guys, you guys can talk about it for ages with me. But the moment I tell you, tell me, give me an example of that manifesting in your life, and that's when you lose your shit. I should probably, probably shouldn't say that. That's not a YouTube word. Is it? You just lose your senses right there and then. That's when it hits you. That's when you're like, oh my goodness. That's right. All I'm doing is just learning and hoping that magic will happen. No. You fix you. Just like the way you grab that food and you put it inside of you and then it changes your cells and it changes your body chemically and all of that then has an impact on the frequency that you're emitting and everything else, right? Garbage in, garbage out. So, you take my information. If you're one of those people that are doing live meditations with me, I have a live meditation coming up. I don't want to miss it. I have an alarm on anyway. Um, I have a live meditation. I have a group in Telegram. I can't just add you to Telegram. I need to talk to you first. Okay? Those are my those are my kids. I want, you know, I need them protected. I, I want I want a specific mindset to enter that group because that group is my tribe. And I'm the tribe leader. I want to make sure that those people are speaking the same language and they're on the same mission. If we talk and we're happy, you tell me your story, then we go, go ahead and join the gang. And if I've been talking to you and you're not on that group and you want to be on that group, I apologize. Just a lot going on. Just remind me and I'll you know, send you the link or I'll just add you. Too many of you guys... You know, have you ever heard of a person that makes like 40 grand a year for their entire life and they're unhealthy, they eat trash, they eat garbage, they get old, and then they have, they have read 10,000 books in their lifetime, these unbelievable books, and you're looking at the books and you're like, what did you learn? I'm looking at your life and your health and your well-being and your mental health, and then I see this treasure. How come you didn't put that to use? No. All they did was just talk smart. You know people that can't make a cup of coffee, but they want to tell the President of the United States how to run the country? Never makes any sense to me. But I digress. Don't just learn things, implement them. I have not been the guy that have been doing meditations for 20 years, that have been reading a lot of books. I am the example. Look at the Gamma Girl in Switzerland. She had her enlightenment in August. How long ago was August? A few months ago. She's been flying all over the place. And she's traveling from heaven to heaven in her meditations. And here you guys are, been reading books for 20 years, all kinds of books, thousands of books. If I were to speak to you, you're going to want to just throw knowledge at me so fast. But then you and I get into meditation and I'm in the heaven and you're down here frustrated because your body's like, my back is aching and this is happening and that is happening. Don't do that. I'm going to go to Cancun and I'm going to capture what happens when I go through the next intense, intense, intense. Course sitting next to advanced meditators. And I'm going to come and see some of you guys. I told, I promised you guys I'm going to come see you and I will. You know, 
One of you guys is getting married and I'm going to attend the wedding. Another one of you guys uh, is a big hunter. And yes, I'm going to come hunt with you. We're going to catch something. And I apologize for people that don't like hunting. I apologize. Probably shouldn't have said that. Some of you guys get so <laughs> upset about that. Uh, you know, one of you guys is a big fisherman, and yes, I'm going to come, I want to see your boat, and I want to go fishing with you, and I will, I promise. And then, um, yeah, so we're going to do that. Yeah. Um, and then there's other ones, yeah, so I don't want to say everything on <laughs> I need to. I'm just going to end it right here, okay? Don't just learn things, okay? I'm so happy. I'm a little high on life right now. I'm just, I'm a little flying right now. My last meditation was so good. It was just, I uh, had a, I don't know how else to say it. I'll just tell you. It was like I made love with my brain. That's, that's how it feels. Have you ever made love with your brain? Have you ever had a full body orgasm and you were alone? Nobody else made it happen. You made it happen. That's what I'm talking about. Don't just keep reading books. Make it happen. You need to pop. And you can only pop if you get out of your own way. You're in the way. Everything you've ever wanted, you're blocking it. You step out of the way and it will just literally just be delivered to you. Anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Cheers. I love you guys.